Hey y'all, 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 welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Narrow Warwick. Yeah. Welcome back to the Culture Kunis Podcast. I'm your host and my co-host here. Alan. Jason. And our special guest for today. Jimmy. And today we got a special review for you. Guys, me and Jimmy saw Black Panther yesterday. I got to see it again with my boys today. They saw it for the first time today. Guys, let us know what are your thoughts on this movie. G give me your thoughts who wants to go first. If not, I mean, I can go first if that's okay. Wait, should we just do ratings or are you just going to go straight into... I mean, I can. I guess we can kind of talk about because this isn't the first time we talked about this movie. Right. We talked about it before it came out and I'm going to be honest, guys. Like, Originally, before we even saw this movie, I was hesitant because of the direction of some of the MCU movies. <laughs> After we saw Love and Blunder, it was just like, okay. <laughs> I was just like, bro, this shit's fucked, bro. The MCU is going to the trash. But honestly, guys, after seeing this movie, I'm back to being hopeful again because this shit fucking slap, bro. I fuck with this movie so much. I got some controversial takes on how much I love this movie, but like, oh, wow. we'll get it. We'll get into that a little bit later. Okay? <laughs> You'll see what I mean when yeah. we talk. Yeah, about... he had a boner here. Yo! Oh yeah, Lupita. Hey yo, bro. Okay, actually, I saw, yeah, I saw yeah, Nakia yeah. coming. I was like, yo. Nah, yo. Me too. Me I too. want, I, I like... want that peach shape herb. All right, keep going. Peach no, shape dude, herb. Did the, the queen? She yo. was so. Jacked. Oh yo, Angela. Yeah. There's like one scene where they're back. All the back muscles are just like, like popping dude, out. I'm like, dude, yeah. so okay, insane. well, spoiler, you know, before, you know, before when she was saving Riri in the yeah. water, I was like, yo, she should be in the Olympics, bro. Okay. Fuck Michael Fells, bro. But she's, honestly, she's really, she's pretty young, actually. Not young, but she's like, she's not old. old. She's not old. She's like, not in old other life, like, I'm no. pretty sure yeah. she's. I think she's. she's a, I guess she's almost. I'm pretty sure she's probably like 50. Probably but she looks like 50s, she looks great for her age. Yeah, that's the vibranium, bro. They got access to that. You know the same black don't crap. This is true. What'd you say? Black what? Black, Black don't, don't crack. crack. Oh. They don't age. I love they don't age. They age really well. <laughs> Let me see how old she is. She is... Oh, she's actually 64. Yeah. What? Yeah. Dude, she looks better than, like, my parents or, like, anyone's parents. <laughs> I crazy. mean, that's probably, ma like, just makeup and, like... No, what, no, what does bro. she actually she's, look like? Yeah, that's dude. dude, I thought too. she was, like, in her, like, late 40s. And I think... I said 50s, but... 60? Bro, okay. Anything I have to say about the movie? I think she had the best performance in the movie. She yeah. did. There's one scene I was like, holy shit. She... I was there's scenes in the movie I was not expecting. I'm like, oh my god, let's, she let's is Let's talk delivering. about it. Like that first scene, like you and me were talking to the movie, yeah, right? Just... That first scene where she brings in like the before she brings in the soldiers. Yeah, it goes. It's there's like a time skip. Well, not time skip. It goes. It shows the Wakandan outpost, right? Mm. And Jimmy thought me and Jimmy were like, okay, like this probably they cut the scene here. It's good, but no, they were intertangling it yeah. and showing that like, oh shit, she's serious. And what's great, she brought up a good narrative, like in about like when nations lose their leaders and stuff. That's when people come into like, oh, like let's start messing around and take advantage of it and she was like we heard, we know what you whisper in your military halls and all that shit we know what you're thinking and guess what fuck you guys that ain't happening and the fact i i thought about this scene a couple times i thought i remember in the back of my mind i remember thinking about years ago it'd be cool if they had an example of wakanda's force of power like don't mess with us and that movie delivered it really set the tone of how serious this movie is going to be because she was like bro like this movie is a global story with mm -hmm. global effects and we're going to make sure we put those stakes up in front the point where they were talking shit in wakanda and french i thought that was hilarious bro <laughs> Uh, a koi coming in and be like, oh, see blue play, motherfucker? Like, here's all your homies no, right okay. here. I'm like, it's, I thought that was just so, I thought that was just so cool how she put an example of using like, hey, you guys want to mess with our resources? Bro, like, we're going to fucking like make sure. And that yeah. scene where they had the door of Milaje, I feel like it's like a horror movie when they open the vault and they're yeah. just like, ooh, ooh. I was like, oh, shit. They got, yeah, very good bait. Yeah. So good. Yeah, keep going. Um, so yeah, oh, they, Angel they Bassa, yeah. yeah, Angel Bassa, especially the scene where that scene with the general was yeah. probably one of the best scenes in the movie. Oh, the fight, the no. monologue. Oh, no, the, the monologue. Yeah, I'm talking. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. That scene was just so like visceral. Mm -hmm. Like, and that's what that's what a lot of Marvel movies have been missing. That really tense dialogue. Yeah. The movies that I like the most have this one scene in the movie that just hits. And this movie, I think that was one of the scenes, if not the best scene. For just dialogue because uh the general is just like like yeah, breaking down yeah, and the yeah. queen is like i have better reasoning to kick you out and honestly they both set their points i mean the general did like lose shuri so yeah. the mom was like she lost two potentially three families and like within mm -hmm. the span of a couple of years like that would mess anyone up so i yeah. think 
just the performance on that scene was just 10 out of 10. Yeah, just, perfect, I man. could not, that, it gives me tingles thinking about how well that was acted out. And what's great too is that like they gave her such powerful delivery and then obviously guys, this is a spoiler conversation. And then for her to be the catalyst to push Shuri to become the Black Panther when she passes on, I was like, bro, that's nuts. Because <laughs> cause I was like, oh my God, bro. Like, because it feels, it's like, it sucks because like, to chat like what was it t'challa lost his dad to ascend to the throne and she lost her mom and i thought that was a great parallel to you know yeah. celebrate some of the aspects of like civil war and some of those big points of black panther but then apply it to her but in a, in a way that felt very fresh because even though it's technically the same plot point oh parent dies i ascend yeah they, it felt different in a lot of ways just because of the circumstance and how they set it up which is which is insane because i was like oh good like it was just her death had such a great impact for her to push her to go you know go into her rage and just take that mantle i thought that was beautiful just how they retrofitted her character like that but yeah guys any guys any anything else like uh, not anything else but what are your guys no, thoughts on this <laughs> thing? <laughs> thank done. you guys thank for tuning in thank, thank you guys for, thank you guys for watching it's yeah great. yeah they just you guys are just audience members at this point <laughs> go guys please hey, go hey, ahead, give me your thoughts you, let's just keep bouncing ideas i mean yeah. you know, that was uh, ninja bass was just phenomenal yeah uh, I really like this movie. I thought it was a really solid movie. I really have no complaints. I mean, the only complaint is, you know, the, the CGI at some points. Well, very small part. That's really it. Like Riri's face on the, the helmet. helmet. Yeah. No, that, you know what? One scene was when they were, we talked about this. Yeah. Uh, when they were in Boston on the bridge, when Okoye was, Okoye Okoye was, was fighting the, uh, the... Oh, Atuma? Yeah, 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 yeah and, yeah, like, yeah. and it, she was like, Oh, go go get the go get rid of like go away. Like I saw that when they were running away, it looked really weird. Oh, yeah. okay. oh that was like one scene. But other than that, like acting was phenomenal. I liked the story a lot. I think it did it did its justice. Probably the best Marvel movie I've seen in a bit. <laughs> it's not like a big compliment actually. Uh, probably one of the best Marvel movies of this phase. I think it's yeah. the best movie that came out this year for sure. Yeah. I like Marvel it related or just Marvel movie. Marvel movie. Yeah. Oh, okay. Marvel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I liked it better than I for different reasons than Doctor Strange because. The pin, the central characters of the story shine more than Doctor Strange might. Yeah, be. no, I understand that because yeah. they actually really acted it out. They really had like a strong plot. Everything was pretty good. But like Doctor Strange, I can understand why people could hate on it because I didn't hate on it. I'm not a hate on it. I'm no, just saying it's like good, but I, think I could see better. the criticism because like there was moments where I, even I was like, this is not. This is kind of a stupid plot decision. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think. Uh, Angela Bassett, is that yeah, yeah, she did a fantastic job. I also really like Namor. Yes, bro, he was really good. So menacing, you like get in everyone's face, like get really close to them. Yeah. And I was like, wow, that was great. That last fight scene with the uh, Shuri and Namor, I loved it a lot. So good, dude. Bro. When I was telling George yesterday, um, you know, we're the Culture Kundis podcast, so just based on the name, right? So there was a scene in the movie where Namor, <laughs> he looks like. He's uh, talking to Angela he, Bassett on the beach when she calls him, right? He looks like, I don't know, I think it's that scene. He he has, like, these bloodshot eyes and looks like his eyes are, like, starting apart almost. He has this, like, this drunk Malayali uncle look to him. Just, yeah. Like, like, I'm like, I'm about to lose it. And just, like, I was like, yo, that, like, it's, like, disturbing the way he yeah, looks. Like, he just gets, he, like, gets, like, he gets, like, this. <laughs> You know that anime, like, yeah. that scene where, like, oh, they the fish, the fish island. Yeah, fish. Yeah. Like, gets, like, this. <laughs> Start farting. They go insane. Like, I was like, uh, Yo, but that happened. But you know, but almost. But dude, to your point about Namor, it was like, bro, like you already have the challenge of like, okay, Chadwick Boseman, like, how are we gonna put this water-based character? It's clearly a ripoff of almost Aquaman, yeah. Atlantis, all that, and make yeah. it new and original. They made it great. So good. Bro. The Mayan, the Mayan, the Aztec, the backstory. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude. Aztec. My bad. No, I don't know. We're, let's be technical. I mean, uh, it's we Tolkien. should probably know. Yeah, I said Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess uh, Mexican yeah. ancestors. Yeah, Mexican. Okay, it's, it's Mexican it's the, present okay, day. Okay, now. Well, yeah, Yucatan, the Yucatan Peninsula. I think around. Where's Yucatan? The, you could, it's the Yucatan. Oh, not Peninsula. Yucatan was a former empire in Mexico. Okay, so, so they, when they so, refer to it, they kind of refer to it like the Yucatan Peninsula, but at the same time, it's I'm, in context. I'm I glad think they said Mayan. I think it was. Mayan. I think it's Mayan. Mayan. Yeah, I, think so. I, I think it's because, because of the, the game. You know the game they play. With the ball? Oh, you yeah, the soccer oh, temple run? So, no, no, no. no. So the, yeah, so, did you say temple oh, run? Thing, right? so, 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 no, no, do you know? Wait, so, so oh, they were doing two different games? No, no, with the so, ball. Oh, they, no, no, no it's like an actual Mayan yeah, game. So when Suri, yeah, so yeah, when yeah. Suri went underwater with Namor, right, she's, they're seeing, they're in the kingdom of Tulukan, and there's these kids have a little hoop, and they're throwing a ball through it. We, and in Mayan it? culture, it actually takes place on the ground, and that hoops all the way up there. They're trying to get it up there. It's like kind of like... Oh, uh, 
it's, sideways we've seen basketball. That, we've yeah. seen that game before in the role to El, El Dorado. Yes, yes, that, exactly. Because it's, that it's, that it's because it's a very it's a yeah. cultural game. And what's good about that? See, too, when you like said they, the ball, I thought you told me Temperon. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an Aztec temple. No, it's not a ball. It's a <laughs> that's the giant ball chasing. It's you. a monkey. Is it monkeys? You're thinking of Indiana Jones. Okay, got to confuse the two. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy, wrong franchise. Wrong okay, franchise. it's okay. They're close enough. It's a reference to that, too. <laughs> but Man, why did you say Leia, Leia Prince Leia? Oh, because another about thing. That too, yeah. Oh, Princess Leia. She, re- she referenced Princess Leia and then someone else. I oh, she was saying, like, when, when they give you a new set of oh, clothes. Oh, new clothes. Like, you yeah. know, in the first trilogy, oh, yeah. she gets the slave clothes instead. Oh. That's what it is. So she's like, oh, peak Leia, this. peak Leia. <laughs> Yo. Uh, what was the other reference? I can't. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't matter, but, um, but I remember. Oh yeah, but our point was Namor. Like, dude, like the, the the thing is, they did the challenge of not making a comic book character very cool. That was already kind of cool in the comics, but it was very felt like very carbon copy of Aquaman. It made it different. You had a challenge of changing the cultures, which they did beautifully. Because it's like we talked about in our podcast earlier. Right? If you make like Black Panther white, it, it's definitely not the same story. It's not. But then you have a case with like Namor, where it's like okay. This is a good time to change it up, and they did a good job of incorporating an existing culture, combining it, and re- making its own See, thing. See, that's what you gotta do. That's yeah. literally, like, a yeah. perfect example of if you want to change it up. And I love the aspect of, like, I love, like, secret societies and history and all that stuff, and I really liked how, like, oh, we thought Wakanda was the secret, most secret thing. Like, no, the MCU is still unraveling things and adding more stuff to it. And I feel like Marvel has a challenge where they have to find a way to add these new characters in while still existing in the co-universe. Because it's like, the blip happened, Eternals happened, all these big events happened. It's like, where the, Thanos and everything, right? Where was Namor during all this time? But it makes sense, because like, okay, he has that fearful mindset of like, hey, if I expose myself, then my, my, everything secret, everything that I love and preserve is fucked. Because you also remember, Namor in this version is like, 600 years old? 500, 600 400, years old? 400 something. No, because no, 1517. This is 1600. No, it's 1517. 15, when they 16, first, this is 16th century. Which not 1600. 16th is, century is yeah, 1500s. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So at least uh, 500, 600. Either way, give or take a century, he's old as hell. Yeah. But like he said, he's a mutant. He's the fairly, I guess, he said the first, immune. Can, first I, mutant. I think canically the first mutant in the MCU. And also makes sense in the comic books. They did make his retrofit him to be one of the earlier mutants no, as well. No, didn't. Isn't uh, Miss Marvel? No, but the... The first, oh, mutant, the first like the mutant. first the oh, first yeah. yeah okay true, if we're true. going by technicality like 1517 the first oh, yeah. mutant was true, born true. as soon as his mom ate that heart shape or the aloe version of vibranium aloe vibranium aloe whatever vibranium. whatever yeah. the yeah the heart the, what was it the i don't know what they're gonna call it but it's yeah. still cool that like okay this is how they do the origins and honestly it was cool because they incorporated him like his it being that old makes him like a legend mm-hmm. or, like the feather serpent and god Kor, 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 that shit was so cool <laughs> He's I been love saying, saying this that. for like I love saying a hundred times in the past. They two call days. him Cool Cool Khan, <laughs> the Fenasaf and God. I'm like, yo, that shit's so cool. I don't know why. Dude, that punch scene when he oh when he <laughs> punches in Baku, oh, I was like, yeah. Dumb. Was okay, so now funny. I know. Okay, so I thought he broke his sternum, then he laughed. He was like, everyone's <laughs> laughing after. I was like, okay, at least he's alive. No, so Black Adam, people made fun of this. They say like, oh, the runtime is so long. It was only it was only like two hours. Like yeah, two hours. because of the the amount of slow mo they used in Black Adam. That's yeah. what, that was like a joke. I mean, I can understand why this movie became two hours and forty minutes because they did use a lot of slow-mo, a lot of yeah. slow-mo. but uh, I liked one it one too many times on the slow-mo just one I mean they just used it okay they used it great for the punch the first water grinning was really cool Oh, but they like use it a lot throughout the movie. Yeah, like, a little bit much, I'd say. Man, honestly, are, are we are we like, going back to the slow days the thing, now? No, no. But here's the thing, right? It's either that or it's like okay, fast action scenes where they just cut in between, where you have like a love and blunder, where it's like <laughs> unfollowable. Some of the action scenes are just okay. We're cutting and skipping. I'd rather them take the time to emphasize something because like when you felt Namor punch him, because normally it'd be like punch. He flies, but they punch him. They took the time to show that, yo, you can have advanced wooden armor and Baku armor all you want. I'm fucking Namor the Submariner. Boom. Yeah. And just focus on the thing breaking, showing he's not phased by it. And Dude, he straight up just was like, oh, something's from behind me. Let me put my elbow up and then deck him. That like, was cool. I was like, yeah. so cool. Oh, Okay, I, this is gonna be just me hyping up Namor, but his aerial combat when he's able to yeah. fight in water, I was like, okay, he has to be good to fight in water. Yeah. But homie literally had Air Jordans, literally that he had yeah, wings. He was dude, he put he drank Red Bull and was just flying the whole time, bro. He's so he cool. straight up was just bouncing and shit in the air. I was like, dude, this is this. I was like, it's gonna be hard to adapt someone with wings on their feet and make them look cool. They hit it out of the park, bro. I want a Namor movie now. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Jason? Oh yeah, I mean, dude, I I honestly like the story. I think mostly because the story really stood out to me, and just 
the reasonings why people were doing things like like even Neymar himself like the reason why he wanted to go against the sea or not the sea the the what was the it surface. The, like, the surface yeah. people right mm-hmm. is because in the past when he came in to bury his mother yeah. they were all shooting at him yeah, right yeah. and i think that story like everything like you know how sometimes when you think about like a movie or the story someone's like what there's no that was kind of stupid yeah there's yeah. no justification yeah. right but everything in this movie was justified i feel like story wise even with uh shuri and like why she wanted to have revenge yeah all that like i think it was d- done really well like the story was written well so one thing that i do want to say though about the movie that i asked i asked Al- alan this too in the car do you think if oh. if King, you, you think I should say this? Go for it, dude. This All is right. So, so if I don't, I don't want to talk about Boseman. I don't want to talk about Chadwick Boseman in real life. Yeah. So Chad T'Challa, in, the character. Yeah. If King T'Challa didn't die in the movie, do you think this movie would have been the same? I know they originally said that the original script was if you know if Chadwick Boseman lived and they still had T'Challa, it was would have had him. I don't know how they're gonna do it, but they said yeah. they would have had T'Challa kind of deal with the repercussions of the blip which is a lot of stories we've seen it's like okay the repercussions of the snap in the mcu i don't know how namor ties into this but there's one line in the movie remember when namor first reveals himself to the queen and shuri he says because of your brother the reason why this all this is happening he revealed because that. He, he was i yeah. feel like that still plot line all that still would be there and honestly like at first we said this on the podcast earlier podcast too like one of my favorite stories is having namor fight t'challa because namor like he says in the movie like next time i come i'll sink you i'll sink wakanda wipe it off the face of the earth in the in the comics he does to the point where everyone in wakanda is dead and t'challa becomes literally the king of the dead mm. And it's that's insane storyline. Which again, that comics has a lot to do with Doctor Doom, but a third party manipulating everyone to get that result to happen. Yeah. But it weakens Wakanda to the point where like it was, ins- you know, to the point where like okay, this is happening now. It kind of happened though. They moved everyone to where. Mom, yeah, Mom and like, and the thing that I loved about this movie too is like you have someone like you have literally the Wakandans going against aliens, and yeah. they were pretty much like except if Thanos didn't have Infinity Stones, they were winning that fight, yeah. right? Yeah. So like, what was to find an enemy that would be strong enough to go against the nation of Wakanda is already a challenge, let alone anything on Earth. Because I feel like they'd have to have some space things to come in to really level up against the technology. No, they did a good job of making Namor and his, you know, his his people very his people, scared. Yeah. He straight up said like, "You're not gonna beat our army," and you saw they had freaking killer whales from Sea come yeah. up and shoot them <laughs> in the sea, sky yeah, to freaking basically. get on so their boat. Cool, I was like, "Yo, they fucking got them." Yeah, but no what you're saying about that, right? I do think that the movie would have been a little bit less. Uh, emotional. Remember, yeah, emotional. I do think it would have been more chaotic because I do think half the elements would have stayed the same. The yeah. things I think would have changed, like if George was saying, the aftermath, of the blip. I don't want a whole movie dedicated on that because we've already seen like two or three other projects times, already. Yeah. Right. Um, where it's like, okay, well, he, the king is struggling to like, get the people unified, and then all at the same time they're about to get like decked on by Namor and yeah. his people. I think that would just leveled up the chaos even more. And, like, would have brought, like, a breaking point where he needs to rely on his family. And he probably feels isolated. I feel like that's probably where their story could have went. But here's the but thing. But I do... Though. Honestly, what we did get, I I like it a lot. I yeah. think the movie um, is emotionally very different than a lot of things we've gotten. Yeah. That's why I, it stands out really well. Did you guys get emotional during the movie? I got, yes. so I got I got pretty emotional. I did. And the thing is, it's like they had a, such a hard challenge of figuring out a way to, like, deal with all this after Chadwick Boseman died because you know he was the setup to be the one of the biggest characters in the yeah, MCU yeah, yeah. and also this is one of my points to bring up is that you know Shuri fucking was a fantastic carry this movie because it's was, like yeah, because it like I, honestly that was the biggest thing like if your main character isn't good then like it doesn't matter how great your side characters are it's just gonna fall through yeah. but like bro like with the burden and the, the heavy task and heavy heart of carrying this movie in memory of you know Chadwick Boseman they fucking killed it bro yeah. they fucking killed it you can feel the emotional beats throughout that like you can tell like because if you were in grieving before it's a year like there's going to be a certain amount of time you need to take to do that and even then you're never going to be the same yeah and they had that such a great impact because in, in the storyline you already have her father dead now her brother dead and how she's going to carry out through that and she's constantly grieving like her disbelief in her culture she was like she was saying like you know when her um the queen was like i felt my you know him on my side and she's like that's just a construct in your mind she's in such a bad place for her culture she's rejecting everything even mm. the one killmonger said in the vision like you don't even believe this place existed 
to the point where like all these debts and all this her line about like I want to watch the world burn or whatever yeah, yeah, what happened yeah. to her brother like that's how you can tell that this grief was really affecting her she's like I just don't care and also the point where like she mentioned the line about like oh like I had all the tools and resources to save my brother and I couldn't like the idea of failing and the result being like you lost your brother your best friend all that shit and to carry that weight into the movie where you're so unsure of yourself in the aftermath of losing your brother let alone Chadwick Boseman and all this yeah. right but for that, all that emotion to not be go to waste, they you can tell they brought all those feelings and weight into the script, the way they delivered the lines. Like the Angela Bassett line when she was saying like, I lost, oh, I'm the most powerful queen in the world and I don't, I lost all my family. It's like, fuck, like, yeah, you, that, those lines felt heavy on two different fronts because of the th- real life and the story that it went through. So it's like, bro, like, just carrying that weight and Shuri being able to deliver those lines during the stages of her grief being like, okay, depressed, trying to get back at it failing listening to namor later on right sort of kind of taking his advice and just being like oh shit shit just kind of happens you yeah know? like you're like i've been along for a long time death is always gonna be there you know giving her that sort of maybe push and then finally for her to like be, rise up to the black panther because the whole time we talked about in our previous podcast is like how is it going to be like how is she going to be worthy of this mantle how is she going to rise up and ascend and i think one of the great lines that you know mbaku delivers is like you're not a child anymore like with all your loss that you do you're longer a child, child yeah. and i think that was such great to have her road to becoming the black panther paved in blood sweat tears fire and grief like i thought that was such a great introduction into having Shuri be the Black Panther. It was great, too, because remember she delivered that line when she trapped Namor? She was like, you're not the queen. I'm black. I'm the Black Panther right now, bitch. And I was like, oh, my God. She out here for blood, bro. And it felt so good doing that. It almost made me forget, like, oh, she didn't really have martial arts training, but I kind of forgave that. Because she was whooping ass when she was on the side of the ship, sidewinding and scratching up all these Atlantean I mean, it was CGI, shit. but yeah. Who gives a shit, bro? <laughs> Who gives a shit? They didn't I have her stunt doubling that. I, was like, I don't know. It was, not, it was cool. You never know. They probably had, dude, they had Tom Holland do most probably of the scenes of Spider-Man, and they would just cover up the CG. It probably wasn't her. I mean, that probably probably not her. CGI. I don't know, bro. You sure. saw you saw I'm how Angela, sure. you know how Bill Angela Bassett was? Like, I'm pretty sure some people were doing some of their scenes. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. But because you have to, someone has to do that, like the whole someone has to do it. So it makes it look nice. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. not yeah. nice. I mean, uh, r- tangible. No, yeah, like, right. You're talking about where they're on the Rokonda and Sea ship. Yeah, when and she's, she's just, swinging on the side. Not just that. Like, she's, the fact that she's been motion captured. No, 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 no. My, no, my point. I know that. My point being that the character of her kicking ass. Like, she Shuri's never like. Yeah, yeah. What I'm saying is like one of the things I kind of forget for the movies. Like, they don't show her having a whole training martial arts montage, learning those skills. I just assume maybe you're Wakanda and you're gonna learn martial arts throughout your life. I guess they straight up called MIT a village school. So I was, <laughs> I was like, I guess they kind of just MIT have fans arts. are like giving like a. Uh, as soon as you're giving like a one I star. I know, right? But all I, the people of France hate this movie. Oh yeah, <laughs> straight up. <laughs> but like, yeah, I was saying that yesterday. I, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. But I forgive the movie for like, okay, you can like, you spend a lot of time on the emotion and the story. I'll forgive it that she doesn't have that much martial arts training. Like, I'll just, I'll give the movie the benefit of the doubt. Okay, she just happened to be badass. She just didn't show it when you know they invaded the first time or Infinity War, whatever. Fine, yeah. I'll forgive that. It was still a great movie, and I'll, you know, with everything that happened, and especially with Shuri being such a mainstay, all the cast did a great job, but you know the burden of carrying this movie really had to be on Shuri, and yeah. she delivered, she delivered it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought she was, it was going to be pretty cringy when they were first announcing it. Yeah, like, uh, we were talking about, you were asking me, like, are there any joke, cringy jokes, and I was like, I couldn't... I mean, to be fair, they made it one of the worst jokes. I think, in the last, last one, one, right? Yeah. One it's of still, those! Yeah. Yeah, so, so I'm bad. glad they didn't do that. I was, I, like, kind of waiting. I was like, oh, no. which, is, which is good, because imagine you had those shitty jokes in a movie with about grief like they had That's good jokes doing. right they had some great dude jokes. the ashy head fart Ooh, <laughs> that was funny. so good you bald headed demon that was the best joke in the movie <laughs> yeah. I was like that getting, shit was good getting called ashy is pretty but rough. that was good because that was character interaction right that wasn't so much like let me put a meme in the movie so that way you guys can laugh well like oh yeah, I'm playing Fortnite or I'm Hulk dabbing yeah or, right, right. the jokes in this were well timed yeah, yeah bro so, so let's hear the ra- ratings are you guys gonna get the ratings yeah. uh, uh, let's go this way you can All go right. first, bro. Uh, okay, I guess since I guess I'm editing it, why as well. I honestly, I'll, I'm gonna say this. I give it a nine, and I like it way better than the first Black Panther. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can understand. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was gonna be a little more controversial no, no. than that first take, but okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. I give it like a nine point five. Nice. Damn, nice. Nine high scores. <laughs> this movie. This fucking movie delivered. Delivered. There was no like, like Black Panther. He's also. I think it almost better than. The first one because that 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 last CGF I really cut it, just yeah, like brought bro. it down. Yeah, yeah. For me, I would give it a nine. And there's actually wow. there's actually plot holes in this movie. 
uh, they didn't really address. Good, good. What was the, it? The, the main thing was that the 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 people of the what are they called the the Tulukan Tulukan right. Remember in the first scene on, scene on the bridge, they get stabbed and they just come back to life, right? Yeah. The, they later on in the fights, you don't see them kind of. Yeah, they never really up. went into that. I think they, it's, they said that. it was something to do with sonic hit, like or sonic hypnotism. No, 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 them coming res- themselves getting stabbed by the general, and right, them, right, themselves coming back to life just a minute later, or yeah, they or just really, healing. They never addressed well, that. Could, they they weren't in the water when that happened. They were on the bridge. Well, remember, could you argue that these again these these people were stabbed in the water? They were stabbing and breaking like vibranium shifts and stuff in there so i would again this is they didn't me. address it so i don't yeah, know right, yeah, right, which point, is fair yeah. which is a good point second but. thing was the siren thing they did it like twice in the movie it was so cool when it first happened i was like that is nuts. yeah you yeah, see soldiers in the beginning what was it like the the odyssey like yeah the, with the sirens yeah, yeah, call yeah, yeah. yeah that was so cool i was that like, was very that good is, but they didn't they they didn't you know when in the final fight like some of the okana didn't have the earpiece in because they didn't, they only used it for like the people in the yellow jackets, whatever they were up to. I have no, no idea. No, they're the rescue team. They were the ones, they I were like, yeah. such a rescue. They just, yeah. I mean, those guys were committing like Suicide. Yeah. Running, yeah. forced yeah. suicide, yeah. I guess. Um, another thing that Kill I did, one is, yeah. you mean nitpicking, right? They were talking about, like, Reaver Williams also, we never talked about her, by the way. Oh, we can now, yeah. Iron, uh, Ironheart. Yeah, that was going to be like, that was the part I was like most worried about. Could have hit or missed. It was very good. good yeah, I yeah. think she did a very good job. No, she, she straight up, she was like, well, like, a representative She's like of the a audience. Person. She represented the audience. She was just like, oh, y'all have a Black Panther when I'm in danger. And I was <laughs> no, like, no, because most funny. of the time, like, like, when they do these type of characters, like, they always, like, fall flat on it. Like, we talked about in Black She's Adam, so like, that kid, the, oh. the straight up kid. Like, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> we need to unite. <laughs> <laughs> no, this they did her really yeah. good. Yeah. I think her character is a uh, very fun, uh, just normal dialogue. It's just it's very natural normal dialogue, dialogue, I would say. Yeah. And uh, there one there's like one thing I didn't like, which is just me like really nitpicking, is like when she's flying in the air and she's yeah. like, um, oh yeah, let me do the different. Oh, let me do the differential equations and the <laughs> Euler angles. What is it? Why was she? You don't do that in the air. Like no one can think. Like no, I, I think it's to show think, show that she's that she's smart. smart. But differential equations, most a lot of nineteen year old engineers take that class or twenty year old. So she's saying, oh, I have to, I'm going to miss differential equations. Obviously, she's well past. Like she made a whole suit and everything that was improved even. The, at dude, the whole movie is. Like, she's the catalyst of the movie. She made the vibranium detector. Only I know she's her. like she's super smart, but the way they're trying to make her seem smart is like, oh yeah, I'm taking. You feel like it's forced. I'm taking an engineer class. I'm yeah. just throwing out. Euler angles. Like, I'm taking calculus one. I'm like, <laughs> to my calculus one class. <laughs> like we get it, you're smart, but like there's there you don't have to force these terms. Yeah, they should they should have like they should have. I hate when they try to do that I with like that child out, prodigy. I was like 19 or 20 when I took differential equations. It's another math class. Like you don't think like I don't think the average people even savants don't think like that. Like right. and she's clearly she's, she's not a savant. savant. She's in like she's flying. She's like oh differential equations. <laughs> they, said, they said they call her. A, I think the Everett Ross called her a child prodigy. She or is. She definitely yeah. is. But like yeah. again, that was just again. That's, I don't really nitpicking. No, I get that. that. I, I even thought even yeah. thought that like they gonna... Euler. He's like a really he's a really well known mathematician. He's a genius guy. Then like oh I'm gonna calculate the Euler angles and she it was just really just a timing thing like yeah. you know when like Tom Brady and other people play football they're like oh, let me like do a math equation yeah, they're, they're throw like, the football <laughs> throw the ball let me do my differential equations <laughs> yeah. real quick oh wait okay five times what, what why is that she squared? do it so she can like she was just like oh she just it was just so she could intercept the drone the surveillance drone yeah that was kind of stupid yeah but... so it's like I get it what you're trying to do but you're not fooling me right so. I, I couldn't yeah. she just asked like the AI to she, you, she uh, really couldn't fool an actual nerd here so <laughs> <laughs> that's why I give it that's a that's not the Euler equation <laughs> you know that the, the emoji the actually the, with the glass um, I know more than you do actually you should, I'm sorry you wear a glass I just put <laughs> actually differential equations yeah that's so that's why I gave it a that's nine good, good. I mean it was just like some missing things for me um, I wish I know some people are saying in the theater like a little bit more action in the middle I do think it could have probably probably one more or something but I would, honestly I, I, I would agree give movie, one more name or I would have loved scene. to see another name or action scene I would definitely would have too I mean, something he, where he's like it would have been cool if I had to think of one where he himself is like decking on like other countries like they're trying to capture him well, or something remember he's, his whole point's hiding maybe yeah. they're going after him like oh we think well they no a, one knew no one knows so yeah, that, so it, it would have been a whole different that would have been like a whole different like different plot type. point exactly yeah. I thought they could have well probably... I mean he's not done I'm glad they didn't I was really nervous yeah. they gonna kill him all yeah, I, yeah my biggest yeah. concern with the movie they're gonna have a, they're gonna come together and fight like a third villain another yeah. villain Thank God they didn't do that. See, because uh, this originally was we all thought it. Much. See, we thought yeah. that was gonna happen. That Doctor Doom was the one that was the reason why they would they made the machine find the vibranium. And originally they were, I think one of the, the the scientists, the white lady scientist on the ship, 
She, I originally, people thought she was going to be connected to, you know, Latveria, no. which is where Dr. Doom is from. That she would be like a double no. agent scientist for Latveria mm. and the U.S. where she would be reporting to Dr. Doom. And I thought during the scene where she was on the radio, would be like, Victor! I thought she, if she said Victor at least once, I'd be like, oh! Confirmed. No, she's dead. No, she dead as fuck. And Namor <laughs> sank her too, bro. It was so cool because, like, you could have had Namor easily sank his ship. No, he flew in the sky, grabbed the so helicopter... Good. And swat that shit down. I was Sick. like, bro. Like, I honestly, it's better because, like, if you had Doctor Doom in there, I, and it's it's a two, it would have been, been too much. It's yeah, cool, it but it would have been, 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 been too much. It distracts from the main thing yeah. of the movie, which is yeah. the grieving process that yeah. these characters are the, going the, through. There's a, they also don't have an after credit scene, and this is why because they're trying to keep it very. It's like um, yeah. this. Just keep it in right. on the right now, right? Yeah. Or keep it focused on what it is, which is good. I, I think I heard some interviews saying like they wanted to make it like kind of the vibe of Endgame, where yeah, Endgame now like some finality and so like. The, the feel the moment behind it's kind of like done and like it's nothing. i also have one more thing before i one more thing i have it's very very much in yeah the pick. yeah the final music yeah. i really i because i had so much like love for this movie i wanted to clap at the end but they had we very, all clapped at the we end. clapped at the mid credit so yeah they had a very somber music by the when the you know the the credits with like the designs in the background yeah. whatever you call that right that was playing i'm like i, I no one's clapping and i can't clap because it's not like triumph of music or anything well it's not like Which I get it's it. not like a black panther ending where they put all the stars right yeah yeah, yeah. so it's like <laughs> It's like they're, remi- yeah, they're, they're reminding you one last time. I was waiting for the Rihanna Dude, song. When they movie. played the uh, mar- the intro of Chavik at the, you know, with the... Oh, the Marvel the logo? Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's there's no music. Yeah, it was quiet. dead yeah. quiet. Yeah, yeah. They've only done it for... Uh... They did it for, I think... Ch- I think they've done it another time. No, they did They done Endgame this had some music. It was just very... Endgame, like, it was like very mellow. Very dark. like... Yeah, music. it was like, yeah. It was because... Yeah. No, Endgame had like a something because it was... It was something. It was because it transitioned to the ship. Of uh, Tony and the ship. Oh yeah, yeah. So there was right. some music. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. It, it was just very. I think it was like one beat. violin or something, just to like show the. Like, yeah, yeah. It was. It was very. I'm dying in space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I don't know. It was um. I for, no, because I there was re, there was a Marvel movie that did that, and I was quiet. Wasn't it Infinity War? Because the movie it starts with it isn't it's like no Thor no it, the logos appear and it's literally the one of the Asgardians being Mayday Mayday this is Asgard this, we're, we have yeah. people on ship maybe yeah yeah I believe but I think they did more. something else too yeah. recently I don't remember I don't know it could be a Marvel property maybe but. I feel like see, look because I remember they did this too yeah. okay but. Um, okay, give right. your rating. Let's we see what keep rating. talking about more. Yeah, Jason, you're the last one to give a rating. We'll keep talking more about it. Uh, I think I'm going to give it a 8, 9, 8.9. Um, I think the only thing... Like I said, there wasn't like anything really wrong with the movie that I really noticed. There was one other thing that I think you guys... I mean, I don't know if this is a, like a plot hole or anything, but... How did uh, Shuri? How was she able to make the plant again? I was kind of confused on how yeah, that works. Oh, yeah. it was you know the bracelet yeah. that Namor gave her. So you know how Wakanda has their heart shaped herb. Yeah. Well, they have the people from Namor's people. They have their own oh, yeah. Yeah. underwater heart shaped herb, and they put some of that essence thing. in in the bracelet. the bracelet. So when Namor gave her the bracelet, she had like a. Uh, a reference point because it's very similar to Wakanda's oh. heart shaped herb, so she was able to reconstruct it using the, a lot of the information found in those threads because a lot of those threads were are either in the stones or they're the threads are made Remember, from that. Remember that net bracelet's over like 500 years old, and it was made out of like the same things that gave their people their power. And I want to make it clear: I don't think there's any more of that stuff around because they they would have probably no, but they made more. She made more, right? She made more, but she took bits of the bracelet to oh. make the. So they don't have any more of the blue liquid anymore. I don't so know what exactly is it? Is it like a plant that was attached to a Wakandan asteroid? Or no, remember they said. Remember, Ceres, vibranium. Yeah, Suri theorized that like they thought that the mound, the vibranium mound in Wakanda, was the only source of vibranium. But she was like, well, technically, like in theory, like it could make sense that another meteorite would land in the ocean because the ocean makes up so most the, of the, the earth. The origin of the herbs, though, for both of them. No, no they. Said they, they said the shaman found the plant, like on, a glowing on, plant. On the... It was underwater. Water. Yeah, on underwater. Water. Yeah. Yeah. Like okay. Yeah. So they they ingested it. So if, And they became blue so, people. So what happens if the Wakandans ingested it? I don't know if they... Yeah, oh, they, they pop- do technically. Well, the person what? becomes... Yeah, black they get the Black Panther power. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, which make, but here's the thing, though. Me and Jimmy kind of talked about They didn't really imply it in the movie, but I think 
the explanation that for T'Challa passing away is because of some vibranium poisoning? No, no, no. They just said it was a, okay. They said it was a disease. Illness. I yeah, seen right. It was but a the problem. No, okay. but, here's the pro- they, but here's the problem. Here's the problem, right? Because when you have the heart shaped herb in your already the Black Panther, it's like the Super Soldier Serum. No regular disease, cancer. But, that stuff wouldn't kill you. But Shuri uh, said, "Blame Killmonger." She, she was like, "Oh, because of you, when you burned down all the heart, like when you remember yeah, the first movie, yeah. that's why I couldn't bring him back." She right. said that. Right. That but that saved him. That's, that's she, said, she, she, she thought said, that, but she was doing compatibility tests the whole time. No, but she was trying to recreate it, but she didn't have the bracelet. To she said they it. didn't have any because remember, Killmonger burned it all down. Right, but my question is, why would he be sick in the first place? Honestly, I you're, feel like you're honestly overthinking. No, I, this is no, no, no. They're I, just trying yeah. to do something. No, but here's no, he but, no, die. but here's the problem. Like, this is no, no this is the MCU. They have dude. There's adamantium poisoning that happens in the comics too. This isn't the first time they've had characters have reacted like have adverse reaction things that power them up. I didn't. They've had it in Spider Man. They've had it with Spider Man where like they've had it in Spider Man media where like he the the thing the spider bite that bites him slowly mutates into a giant ass spider. Yeah, but that's. Those no, I did again. No, 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 no. I did probably keep it open ended right now. Right. You can make some predictions, but maybe in the third movie or something, or later in the future, they talk about this. Right now, we don't know. Maybe we just. But again, I, again, I guess I'm saying disease. I'm making an inference because it's like, okay, like, look, you already have the heart shaped herb. You saw Suri get stabbed in the chest, and she was fine. They didn't really like. It was like right here. That was another. It was the it was stomach. Stomach. Chest, stomach, stomach. stomach. Sure, but, but another most, plot hole. I was like, she just flipped. But no, no. But remember, Everett Ross got shot in the back. He's supposed to die. They put a kamoyo bit, and he was fine. Well, not fine, but they stabilized no, they put him. A, yeah, stabilized. No, the, and she they got really him fixed. quickly, but it's another thing. Again, but that's what I'm saying. It's like how is again like. The movie what is, illness caused that's right that's what i'm it. saying cancer wouldn't do it no normal illness could kill him i'm not saying the movie should give an explanation i'm just saying as a comic book fan i like to theorize that stuff and i think a reasonable explanation would be that okay the vibranium poison some vibranium could have adverse effects on t'challa or remember okay because he had it he had to do it twice remember he he took okay, how could it twice didn't feel that and it could be just the only thing that affects t'challa right, the same thing yesterday. no yeah. but could, remember it could be the genetic thing or whatever it could be just someone could remember like, no there could be there's things and gen, genetics all the time where like the uh, recessive trait comes out in your children and like, it becomes I that like it's a big reach yeah, so a I think that, the reason why I don't believe it's a reach is because you have characters like Wolverine in the comics who has an amazing healing factor being poisoned by Adam and this, these are the comics they can have their own storylines like Adam right, right. Marvel is like right. really but the, but the whole thing wait, the whole reason wait, Jason, be, he's sorry, sorry, sorry I'm sorry no I was just gonna say like I think it's better that they kept it open ended because yes. if you if we say that they did the plot that you just said, right? right. It would have been whole, not something. Then you would have the plot. same questions. We would just be like, oh, we would just be asking like, oh, how come King T'Chaka didn't? But have like it? maybe in the, in the next Black Panther movie, they mention it and then it's like a big reveal. You know, it makes it like, oh, that's why he died. Right. So well, that, sure means, so that means I'm ahead of the curve. That's all I'm saying. Then, oh. <laughs> okay. Let's see. In the year like 2000. Again, this is, it shouldn't be the main focus of the movie, right? But I'm just like in my head, I'm like, I'm a nerd. I can't, you know, like I think that's a reason. Again, if they were to give an explanation. The, I mean, I could see it. The vibranium poisoning would make sense because they would also be like, so why would she make a new heart shape? They already had the heart shape perp in their generations, so I don't see the reason why they would. Be, the, they could easily replicate probably original one at some point. That's why she wanted the synthetic one at some point anyway. Where I think that like it would make sense for her to try to create a new version of it with that to probably heal it. Because remember when she finally saw the compatibility, she's like, oh shit. But I'm like, there's vibranium in literally everything around them. They could have easily found a way to recreate the herb originally. I think actually what would, 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 what would make more sense is if she was able to make the plant, yeah. but it was since it was synthetic, yeah. that messed him up, and then that killed him too. Oh, on top of that? That yeah. would be heavy. That, that would be dumb. Dumb. I mean, maybe. Like, she'd like, be the reason why he succumbed to that. Oh, That's even worse. <laughs> I know, but I think that would have been like more realistic. Like, oh shit, Like we don't have any more of the plants. She somehow got like the same. Well, yeah, I don't know how you would write that, but like yeah. you know what I'm Some saying. Differences yeah. would have to happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I don't know. That, her that being could... the cause of her brother's death. That then, dude. Then she has to come back to like I have to trust myself again. To give I mean, myself... that's, a, that's completely that's different. Deep. That'd make yeah, a three-hour yeah, yeah. three movie. That's a that very point. different. That's plot a, yeah, that's But she already kind of deals with that like the sense of failure because she was the smartest person. What kind of leader technology has the most knowledge, and she still wasn't able to save him. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But. Damn. And I did like how they used the real life plot point of how Chadwick Boseman didn't tell people about his illness until it was that, too yeah, late. Really happened. And how Chital was like, by the time he asked for help, it was already too late. I thought that was cool. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, cool. I'm a nerd. That's why I like to think about these different things just to theorize. <laughs> but hey, if you all want to have your, your moments and grieve and leave it open, that's fine. But I like to think about stuff. Hey, I'm the one that wanted Dr. Doom, but I'm happy with this movie. So I'm, I'm what did you guys think of... Uh, I had a, we were talking about this. You know Valerie? 
Who? Uh, is that is that her name? Who? Uh, the, Thunderbolts lady? The Thunderbolts. Yeah. Oh, Von Tane? Von Dane? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Something. Yeah. What other uh, things has she appeared in? She appeared in the end of Falcon Winter and the Winter Soldier. Soldier. End of uh, Black Widow. Yes. Right? Black Widow. That yeah. was the first appearance. But I think she was in something else, too. Seinfeld. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 Seinfeld MCU. Uh, uh, wasn't she? Jerry! Captain America's outside! <laughs> Just crazy. She once? <laughs> Not, no. Huh? She was in something else, I think. We'd have to look that look up. up. Someone just look it up really quick. But I oh mean, she, her presence is getting known. But I don't know. She's becoming like a Nick Fury type. I figure. don't understand though, because I thought my theory is that when she was in there, I thought Dude. she was going to recruit Rikoye because she got kicked out of Wakanda. Dude, I, when she said, "I got to come over and ride your the Peloton," Peloton. <laughs> I was like, hey, "Oh, yo, that was really nah, funny." I was that like, was "Yo, you trying to go to the Shire?" And when she was like, "Oh," when she was like, "Oh, they used to be married." I was like, "Okay." Or black, maybe Hawk. No, not Hawkeye. I think she was in some, one more thing. I but her whole thing is to set up the Thunderbolts. Cool, cool, gun. He just keeps saying it's it. So fun he likes Mbaku. So. Oh, I like what he's saying. I, I, I like Mbaku too. No, he's trying. He was like, he was like doing it because because I heard in the trailer. Mass off. I like yeah, mass off. Oh, 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 oh. mass off. Oh, I li- actually was signing. I really liked um, when Shuri is like, "Let me make it clear, you're gonna help me," and he's just like. Oh. <sighs> He's like, he's, he just said it was like, yo, like a, like, it was like a gorilla, just okay. <laughs> yo, he's, he's saying gorilla yeah. because he's because he's they're, he's the their, mas- of their mascot is not like, the mascot, the god the they serve is Hanuman, the great white gorilla. Oh. No, do you not see the you gorilla know, the, fur and stuff? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 in the first no, no, movie, no, no. he comes in with yeah, the gorilla. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's just like, hey, yo, it's like you fucking saying. Don't you dare! Do you guys have any more thoughts on the movie as a whole? Any any nitpicks? So it was a rating's eight point nine 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 nine. Point five. Nice, nice. Uh, so Phase Four is officially over in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yes. What do you guys think of the end of Phase Four? What do you guys think of Phase Four? Hmm. Phase Four. It had definitely a lot. Ha- it had a better right. ending than it started. What was all the What was all the shows? You want me to say it? I can say. It. Are you including the shows too? Black Widow. All right. Uh, WandaVision, Falcon and Winter Soldier, uh, Shang Chi, Hawkeye, No Way Home, Loki, Doctor Strange Two. Uh, She Hulk, Moon Knight, Miss Marvel, Thor: Love and Thunder. Okay, well, I don't think and movie. in this movie, mm. yeah, I am Groot. <laughs> oh, uh, Halloween, Werewolf by Night. Werewolf by Night. That's, oh, I didn't see that. That's yet. really good. That's pretty good actually. Good. I think that's it. Maybe I missed okay. It. Well, I think just for the streamline, let's just talk about maybe our favorite movies in this because the show. <laughs> I, I think we all have the we, same. We, ones. we did. We talked about the show already in Spider-Man our She Hulk stuff. Is also in Spider Man. Right? Yeah, yeah, no way. No way. Yeah, so yeah. Spider Man. So uh, my favorite like, one, blue. honestly, still my favorite one. Okay, it's like they're okay. I'll just say the ones I like the most: Spider Man, Shang Chi, this movie, and then after that, I'd put Doctor Strange. I think. Well, you're not on, doing the shows, huh? No, we did the shows already. No, I was just saying just the movie. I think we yeah. just if we're just talking. I mean, uh, Loki was great. Loki, uh, Loki's Moon best. Knight minus the ending. Uh, Miss Marvel was like had a really weird ending. She Hulk had a terrible ending. Um, Wait, there's one more in Phase Four, isn't there? What is it? Maybe I missed one. There's like ones that are still coming, right? Or, no, that's this it. is the end of Phase that's Four. The end of fa- that's the official end of oh, Phase Four. The, the, yeah. In that picture, they're like showing like a Marvel Two. This is probably uh, might be outdated. Oh. Wait, what are you? What pic- <laughs> yeah, I was just looking on Google. No, they actually officially announced uh, like a few months ago. This was the end of Phase Four when oh. they announced the uh, King Dynasty and Secret, uh, Secret Wars. Oh, Ant Man Three. Looks beginning of phenomenal yeah. i that trailer is getting let's not get too hyped so up excited. because when you get too hyped up a movie it usually ends up becoming nah man but it's I, funny I it's funny because we were like hope we were thinking this movie was going to be absolute we were, trash we were, hi- we were so. hyping up you love guys it. thought it was going to be bad. no no it was not no we thought it was going to be trash before the trailer came out yeah because we literally saw love and thunder we thought the trailer was good we're like oh this movie the trailer i remember That's that true. i was dying for that trailer i was like oh my god when are they going to release it i was so hyped for it <sighs> they had gore the god butcher christian bale and they still fucked that up christian bale russell crowe the God Butcher, Zeus, the Pantheon, blundered. All blundered. So like, yeah, obviously. How long I, are you cooking up that line, Thor, Love and Blunder? I've had, dude, I've had, I've had that. <laughs> he said that before, dude. I got, uh, I got, so it's, dude, it's, I got bars. I don't about, I thought about that Red Bull gives you wings and Air Jordan ones like yesterday. <laughs> obviously, we have the. I think we have a. <laughs> <Yesterday>. re- <laughs> <laughs> this we we have the right. I think we have, not a right, but we have the 
credibility to say like yeah this movie could have been trash we literally yeah. saw shield came out like a few months ago if you just go by precedent on the things they highlight in the first black panther some of the, the throwaway jokes the what are those and just how they use the characters up until that point because like queen romanda from the first movie is just like i'm the mother and that's it basically like she doesn't really do much except be there to be like oh we need t'challa back versus in this one it's like every character because of t'challa's absence everyone stepped up and they all overstepped up too i would I only think I just wanted more of Mbaku, but even then, whenever he was there, he was great. Asshole. <laughs> Asshole. That's crazy because I think they were talking about they were going to write her out of the Marvel. Who? The, the Queen Mother? The Tito, right? Oh, the, oh, oh Suri. Obviously. Oh, okay, sure. anti- because, of, because of the, the anti vax stuff. stuff. I mean, also, this is, they were filming during like COVID and stuff. 2021. So, like, yeah, yeah that's when like, the yeah, mask yeah. update and stuff like that. So, yeah. I can understand. But, you know, I hope nah, they she don't. She did a good job. She, she did, did a, a job. fantastic job. That was such a good call to stick by her, like, regardless. Because honestly, like, that, she. I'm ex- I'm actually legitimately excited for what's job. next, bro. Like I'll be like, yo, because the thing is, it's like you already have a problem, not problem. You're already going against T'Challa, who everyone again, like I like the first Black Panther, but people really love that movie. I don't think it's as good. It was like comparison. a cultural thing. Yeah, it's a cultural thing, right? But yeah. even then, like objective, I didn't think it was that good of a movie. But T'Challa was definitely a standout, and whenever you see him in media, he's like, oh, fuck, it's the Black Panther, right? How do you resonate and get that feeling in a movie where his shadow is cast on everything this movie impacts? Mm-hmm. And they did a good job of making her distinct, making her her own character, but also being worthy and being a distinct Black Panther as well, right? Because yeah. by the end of it, I was like, oh, that's Chadwick Boseman. And I'm sorry, that was T'Challa's sister. It's like, no, that's fucking the Black Panther. No, yeah. That is the Black Panther. There's no question about it anymore. Because, like, you she again the, like we said before when Mbaku is like you can't you're not a child anymore with how much the world took everything from you it's like bro like they paved the way they did it right and they did and another thing is I liked when the Marvel movies are longer because they yes. give more time to yes. breathe those emotional Very moments true. the length of this movie some people may have I don't know if you guys felt it was too long no, no I, I, thought, thought I thought it was short good way. I thought it was short I thought, yeah, it was good. I thought like yeah. I thought when she was in, in Haiti yeah uh I thought they were going to do, like, another act or something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> no, but I, th- I thought, again, side note, I like how they kept changing locations in different parts of the world. That was cool. But like I was saying before, right, like, th- they, they did such a good job of, like, you know, using that runtime to play out those emotional moments, I lo- using the slow-mo, sure, but building up those character, those character interactions. Because you could argue, like, some people, like, oh, that whole Okoye storyline of her losing, you can just take that out, whatever. But no, oh, like, what that's good. Things, right? Exactly. Yeah. What am, She's goaded. That's exactly. That's the thing. But in these boardroom conversations, like, oh, we want to put more show times. We gotta cut some scenes out just to put more people in seats. That, that's why. Uh, that's why Love and Thunder so, bombed. Yeah. Doctor Strange kind of struggled because of that. Because short, they kept it a shorter yeah, run. Yeah. Because time. they're like, oh, they, because the executives think like, oh, people have this uh, like a stupid sh- attention span, so they have to make every movie like two hours. Right. Yeah. Doctor Strange should have been this lo- run time. Two right. Yeah, Forty five minutes. Yeah. Exactly. And that's the thing. It's like when you use the run time effectively, it doesn't matter how long a yeah. movie is. If it's it's a good movie that why, why, why did why do they think that oh we don't want to overwhelm the audience so we have to keep it short it's a movie it should be good don't focus on runtime right like maybe the original mc movie say like i like iron man i think was like yeah they were short they were short, they were short. but they, they did the job but that's the thing they didn't have much to work with or they were yeah. just they're they're building up story. Still, exactly yeah. versus this it's like if you any sequels if they're if they're shorter than the original i already feel like it's a red flag yeah it's like hi if these movies are sequels to build up these characters like how are you gonna do that with less runtime i don't understand understand how you do that but that's the thing is you have all these characters it's an ensemble movie where there's not just the main characters the focus but all these side characters get the attention too right and it's like bro if anything you can make it 15 minutes longer and put more namor and some more mbaku we would have been like awesome. i actually do like mbaku yeah. too he's really yeah sweet. that's good bro I actually kind of wish he would be the next Black Panther. Like we, as we, a side, we, like, remember we were talking about. Black remember we talked. Yeah, no, he, he what's be, wrong with that? Jeez, mass off. <laughs> be like a. See, I don't know, and I think Jason just wants. I don't think he's gonna start barking. Here's the thing. <laughs> dude. I, that that was good too. That was good too. You're right. You're right. <laughs> oh god. See, because I, I, we thought, like, oh, it would have been cool if that Killmonger. Because remember, we talked on the podcast, too, earlier. It was like, oh, Killmonger would be a great matchup for Dan Moore. It's like, I take that back. Shuri was a no, great she matchup. A job, she yeah. did a great matchup. Like, honestly, I'm glad they didn't bring Killmonger back because the story we got was even better. They Again, they did bring him back but like, for the ancestral first, yeah, scene, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But which was good to really show, like, oh, like, you thought you are going to have someone to relate to in here. It's like, bro, like, you're going to get someone relatable, but for vengeance. Which I thought was really cool that the ancestral plane that she went into was what she felt at that moment, which was 
pure rage, vengeance, and yeah. all that shit. You know? That was crazy. I, I thought that, that was important. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that was good. Yeah, I, I thought they were gonna. I don't know why, but I thought they were gonna use Chadwick Boseman. The CGI version. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, don't do it. Yeah. No, don't do it. Don't I do said, it. I told you that too. I was like, I, th- I, I thought it was gonna. Be I thought they brother. were gonna yeah. do it. See, if anything, I would have thought they were just showing Queen Romanda and then her her father, her but, family yeah, member. Yeah, or her yeah. Honestly, like if they did show uh, his her mom's like, wait, where's dad or where's brother? brother. It's like we don't have an explanation. Yeah. Mom, so, mom wouldn't be able to go in the ancestral plane like that, right? Why not? She, oh, yeah. she. Oh no, because she, didn't she, take never, took, her. she never took the heart shape. Her. Oh, that's, that's, really, the that's why. Like, right? Because remember that when he first go when uh when T'Challa, T'Challa was there, yeah. like, all the panthers were on the previous street. Black Panther. Okay, honestly, yeah. them showing uh, Killmonger. Killmonger made a lot of sense. Because, yeah. Like, again, they they CGIing uh, Chadwick would have been really. really I would have been yeah. really distasteful. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I think what they did, everything was just the best version of anything they could have done. Right. So I'm glad they delivered. And honestly, I know like. People it's give like tasteful. have like it's low expectations for C- M- MCU CGI, but given the fact that they had to redo a lot of the script, and even I was surprised at how well done like underwater cavern looked. Yeah, and I was like, damn, this looks really hey, nice. That she all called cool. it. You know why? Because when she was talking to Kevin. She, oh, he was like, yeah. oh, save the budget. Save the budget. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you trash your other show, so yeah. I guess it's like... <laughs> I, <don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not complaining. I'm thankful that they trashed the Yoke, so they made this movie good. I really love a budget for Shulk. Imagine she Yoke like really good in this movie. It's trash. Oh, no. CG, uh, CG, uh, She-Hulk had like... Uh, like two probably one minute versions of like she had good CGI everything else was just like bro yeah <laughs> look like Fiona <laughs> <laughs> basically yeah where, where is my swamp <laughs> uh, I think I thought another thing I liked was really cool was like some of the extra comic book stuff they added like the Midnight Angels thing I thought I was yeah, super the cool show, I don't know if they're still making this show anymore but oh they, the, 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 the Dora Milaje show which, the, which is the, which is called Midnight Angels yeah. is there gonna be a show yeah but they I don't know it. But they're making Ironheart show. Yeah, which I, I'm, cool. which now I'm excited for, considering like Riri Williams. That's what I'm saying. Like we talked about in the last podcast too. Like okay, like how, if they brick this character, no one wants to see it. Brick Be- this character, as in they brick it, make it bad. Because like yeah. even in the comics, people did not like Riri Williams. It was it failed for a couple of reasons. Yeah, yeah. they didn't like it. Too, what? Side side note. I what did you she say? Was, she was hot. Oh, you like Riri? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. I think. I think. What's her name again? Oh, N- 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 Nakia. Yeah, Nakia. Oh Nikia. my. Yeah, I don't know. She was also bad in Us, but that's a different thing. Because Mbaku and uh, her were. Oh yeah, 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 really? yeah, yeah, yeah. What is, is it Jordan Peele? It's a Jordan Peele movie. Yeah. This is Us. The horror. No. Yeah. Oh, uh, not this. Sorry, us. I was like, us. <laughs> that's yeah. completely different. It's like the horror movie. <laughs> no, oh, they, I didn't yeah. see that yet. That's good. Pretty good. Yeah, they those two carried that movie too. So. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention: the mid credit scene. Where they confirm that, like, you know... So I guess son, every Marvel oh, superhero yeah. has, has a, a child son. now. He has a son. Yeah, yeah. yeah was... Everyone has a kid Actually, now. Actually, I, so I caught this one the second time I watched the movie. That isn't the first time you see that boy... The first time you see him actually is when Queen Ramonda comes to Haiti to find Nakia, and she sees the oh, the three know. the three kids that are oh. there. One of the little boys is T'Challa. Is T'Challa Jr. Know. You know, I'm not really that. too surprised because I had a feeling they were going to do something like this. Yeah, but they because, the, but, but, the funny but they did a good they job. Put that, they put that boy in front of you in plain sight, and it's funny because Ramonda's just like, "Oh, where's Nakia?" And they're just like, "Oh, she's over there." And the kid who says it is actually T'Challa Jr. So, she, but oh. she knows about him, so she just completely ignored her grandson because she wants to go to. Find her daughter. That's kind of effed up. She got a but remember, son. remember, remember the whole reason why is like you can't you just have your grandson. If that's the but case. she's the, but she's the queen of Wakanda, right? If anyone recognizes her and then makes the connection, like all oh, that. They kept the it. Grandson. Remember, they kept it really secretive. They didn't even tell her. Right. Like, she knew. Queen Ramonda knew. Yeah, Queen did, but she remember. Sure okay, didn't remember when know. they were on the uh, on by the beach. Um, on the at night, yeah. she's like, I gotta tell you something. Yeah, yeah that's what that was. Sort of yeah. So like, not even so they kept it low key. I guess today it was just a choice to keep. It's it like a you know you don't want to keep t- talk about baby mama drama. <laughs> <laughs> All Wakanda. Think about it, because if it would be rumors. If, think about it. If yeah. Wakanda's fine, like, oh, we have a heir to the throne and everything like that. Like it'd be like they would be like making even like Black Panther deal. Game of Thrones type of shit where it's like, oh, who's gonna be the true heir? It's a big deal. Yeah, yeah. that's true. I guess everyone has a child, like kid now. Yeah, bro. Hulk. Oh, but they did a way worse oh, job in Hulk. Yeah, this, this one was a lot better. Got yeah. his hairline all pushed back. Yeah, I know it's a cultural thing, but just like 
look yeah, awful. They should have done no, no, that. That ain't cultural. That's just stupid. Like you're talking about good cultural adaptations. Black Panther did a great job, but yeah. at least the Tolu Khan and all that stuff I, too. Bro. I guess if you actually try in your scripts, you can actually make a good movie. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, one of the things side notes I really liked is that that arc that they have for Okoye with Atuma, the how they were fighting each other constantly in the movie. Yeah. Remember the first fight on the bridge? Gen- oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, remember Atuma your, and then your last fight. words or something. Oh, you're gonna be say like, it in your mother tongue. Okay. That was good. Oh, I was like, that is so true. badass. Yeah. Dude, but that first fight they had on the bridge, I was like, oh, it's just gonna be just two characters, like, whatever. But they had a good... That was a long fight. Fights. I was like, Yo, Bro, was very technical, with the spear, they were kind of even, and you'd show... I thought it was like one of those... Because you could make any revillage just like, oh, we're generic bad guys, but they have a warrior culture. And I was like, oh, he could easily kill her, but he kicks the spear back to her and, like, calms the fight. Let's I was go, like, yeah. that shit was so and hard. And he was like, he was like I won't kill you with my own weapon. You're not... You're not you know, and I was like, dude. Like, that's so... Dude, that's what I'm saying. That's so cool. Those side characters that could have just in any other Marvel movie, they'd just been like, "Oh, we're the henchmen." Dude, okay. No, I this know, is like it's, it's, Infinity War kind of did a good job of it. They did a good job. Yeah. No, I know it's a bit of a stretch, but like one of the. Okay, I know everyone has their opinions on Thor Love and Thor Two actually, but one of the. Oh, Thor Mid War. The, <laughs> the guy, the, the person who kills Loki, right? Forgot his name. Uh, the uh, fake one. Th- the, the one the with elf. The, the berserker, one, or, the berserker, the berserker elf, yeah. Yeah. Dude, one of the most, he was just so, when I saw the movie, and I was like in 10th grade, that movie, like that scene where he's transforming and becomes like really grotesque. Yeah. And he's just so, uh, he's like an unstoppable force. Right, he right. Out, he just kills he, people he, left he, and right. He and like, elf Yo. juice, yeah. Yeah, so I was like, that kind of re- reminded me a little bit of it because it's just such a menacing But the thing force. is, it's like that, and that character in, Dark World, different. Didn't, Dark World didn't have really any speaking lines and his whole point was to die. But with these characters, like Namor, I think Nam- Namora was the girl who was like, I'm yeah. going to kill the witnesses. I'm like, okay, she definitely... Oh, down. no, this is definitely she, better. No, but she, I, I, I liked it because even those side characters that they added from Namor's camp, they gave good time to. Like, you yeah. know, Namor, Namora's like, I'm going to kill all the... No witnesses. I'm, I'm down for the cause. Like, she's like the Okoye for their side. Which yeah. That was really cool. But then you have Atuma, who's the more warrior-like. Down for the mission, for sure always about the mission but it's like when it comes to a good fight he's like oh and the technique the technical aspects of fighting yeah. side note Kamar Usman's appearance yeah, in that shit oh, yeah. Kamar <laughs> Usman's yeah. there just with one or two speaking lines I mean with the way he got knocked out you couldn't give you him know, more maybe that's why he lost because he had to do those lines <laughs> <He's> just, <laughs> you know another <laughs> movie that really fumbled with their side character like that it's in Shang-Chi it's like that one ninja guy. Oh, the death dealer? Yeah. He yeah. never had any words, and they just killed him off. Yeah. That was just not... But they gave him a good fight team with Shang-Chi, but it's just but no, it, like it. He died from like a dragon or some shit. Getting soul their soul yeah. sucked. Like, yeah. It was like... For someone they that's kind of like... Better. See, yeah, that's what you don't want to do, but right. Black Panther show like what you should do. Yeah. Make it actually cool. And the the fact, again, like they, they carried over that bit where it's like, okay, they just fought once. No, they fought again, again and yeah. again. I was like, that's very cool because you had the midnight armor and she's like, now we're even. Let's go. It was still cool because like you can appreciate Okoye more in this movie. Her journey of like, okay, she because as the audience were like, yo, she tried to fight and save you know, what was it, uh, Shuri, but from the uh, Wakanda's perspective, she failed utterly. Which sucks as an audience, like fuck, she tried, but I guess it makes sense why they had yeah, to do it. Yeah, that was her, a, that uh, was again that's such a unique scene. I'm ne- I don't think I've seen something like that in the MCU really. Where it's like you're getting the, demoted, bro. Like, <laughs> and she's like, it was. What well, no? What hard to, the, so I'm remember it being demoted. Demoted. Like, oh, yeah. General, oh, yeah. The, yeah. Because you saw she was she boxed four people. She was like fighting them with the spear. She took got out, back up. Yeah. Right, and I was just like, bro, that's not her fault that they're fucking super fish. Like, I don't know, like, like how is that even? Like, again, but I mean, Thor got demoted, huh? Thor kind of got stripped of his thing. Yeah, that's because he was actually unworthy, though. You know, he you was know actually, in the first movie. Yeah, in the yeah. first movie, I'm trying he, to think of other because he, he, he wanted to be a war berserker. Oh, dude. Iron Man to uh, Peter. No, he Tony got stripped because he was trying to start a war, wasn't he? Yeah, he started like, the war with the reckless. Frost Giants. Well, I'm yeah. trying to think like Tony to Peter when he was like... But like, yeah, he, Peter was irresponsible. Which again, all those are all like justified. I guess in this case... This is yeah. different. This is like a oh, bigger... Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. She's, yeah. Like, she's like really... That was like one of the best yeah. acting performances I've seen in the, in like a Marvel movie. Yeah, right. like that scene with the Queen Mother just... Yeah, because she was like, bro, like... And it, you get it because she's putting all her anger at Okoye. Even though it's technically it's not Okoye's fault, it was her... You know, suggestion to bring Suri that caused all this. To what happen. does she mean by like the uh, her uh, her boo? It? There was something about like your betrayal husband or I don't know. Oh, remember, remember Daniel, remember Daniel. I know, but I, I know, I know that. But was, was that her husband? 
in the movie, yeah, remember she's like, "Would you kill me, my love?" And she's like, "For oh, I don't know, Fonda. love or husband." No, no, right? yeah. Okay. So, they're, they're, but then yeah. she's like, "You can go." S- oh wait, no, because like, they, they put him in a cell. It. He didn't get killed. He was just jailed after being betrayed, after being betraying Wakanda. Yeah, and dude, the thought. So the she fact can, that she, they brought back stuff from the first two, like when you chose to side with Killmonger instead of me. That's actually yeah. good. I was like, Which, yeah. she's like, damn, because oh, damn, bringing the receipts. But she just that means for her mind, she's like, bro, like this council has betrayed me multiple times. They betrayed my family, and now that was good. They did that. Good. Love and Thunder did not do that. that. No, Love and Thunder bro. literally just like no. They shot on no. They shot on everything good that they happened before with Thor, right? <laughs> yeah. No, the Eternity thing was one of the worst. Right. Uh, the hammer talk. The the hammer having sentience pissed me off. Yeah. He wanted to fuck his um his hammer. Right. So <laughs> but that's what I'm saying, right? When you have a movie that's that had the so the damn. serious backdrop of everything that happened, that made the movie so much better. Versus Love and Thunder, you could feel that like they did not know what to do with this character, so they so let's just shit on the character. No, it's because jokes, it's Taika's so Taika's fault. Yeah, honestly. his whole, whole thing is like I don't care about the comics. I'm going to be uber meta. That's with another shit like on the, it. what's her name? Jessica Shao something. She uh, made a oh who Eternals Eternals or something. No, she, a lot know. of these directors don't read the comics and they talk about yeah I don't really. Well, like but in the Eternals comics. case, you could tell that they were still like they did the research for the historical parts of that it was I lo- I personally enjoyed Eternals, but I can yeah, see I why like they. Were. I like but they were like, oh, they should make a Disney Plus show. I'm like, no, it would have been awful. It would have been worse than this. I, I would argue that because like if they made a Disney Plus show and like they dedicated one episode per character, yeah, right? but like and then dude, like the end last two or three episodes is them doing the oh, thing. so the last two or three episodes are just something okay, four or five, no. You mean, five, sorry, so. the last episode is some big rush um, episode. Yeah, actually, and like, they, you're right. That's they, what's going to happen. You're right, not, you're right. If it was like argue. a six-episode miniseries, it would have been awful. If it was like 18 no, episodes no. or something, like where they're playing through <laughs> Daredevil. Yeah. Well, I think that would have been... If they, yeah, but if they, they won't do that. the budget on it, that's it was, the problem. It, was one of the, it would have been too early for Disney Plus to do that because that they were making only like six episodes... Eight episodes yeah. shows time. But okay, think about it. If and you actually, Disney is well, they're actually in a loss right now because of the Disney Plus streaming service. So they're probably like yeah. Think about how open. much money they're losing they shelved, money. Yeah, think how much money they shelve into these shows that don't have a big return. Because again, it's not it's, it's not our fault. Like they it's not can't our fault. Like, you can't. But they're taking money because like I was actually watching. It's kind of unrelated. No, it's fine. It's Disney's really taking like uh, some of their money that they're using for like their cable program, which is very profitable for them. And when cable is dying, so they transfer it to Disney Plus, but it's not turning the profit like they want. So their stocks are, it's kind of, I mean, a lot of things are going down, but theirs is falling faster. But and again, if you have product that's like, again, what's the worst Disney Plus show? Disney Plus MCU show? Sea Hulk? Uh, she Hulk, yes. She Hulk. So then what's the best one? Loki. Loki. Okay, Loki, this, yeah. okay I don't, I think Loki is, I think I view that as almost separate from, because that's a well put show. What's the second best show, in my opinion? In your opinion, Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Moon Knight. No. CGI. What did you say? Moon Knight yet? No. <laughs> he didn't watch it's, it. It's pretty good. Yeah, hey, even watch. Moon Knight has some issues. That's what too. I'm saying. Right? Like, it has some big well, issues. Exactly. It's, 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 it's because it's Oscar watch. Isaac like fucking carried. That's right. why. Well, that's what I'm saying, right? If it's like if you have a show that takes shortcuts like that, and then versus like the worst product like. She Hulk. Are you surprised that like the, it's not made as profitable? Because again, they're rushing these shows. They're rushing the CGR artists for these shows. They're rushing the plot lines. They're rushing everything just to get out. And that's why you have a rush, a rush projects with low return because they don't put the time in. Versus this movie, I feel like this movie is gonna probably hit a billion for sure. I mean, it's like just anything you do. If you don't put any uh, work or heart into it, no. Or better yet, Disney, Disney has that stuff with them. It's just they're now in the business of taking shortcuts to make the most money now. And, I, and, and this movie is a very refreshing take of like no no shortcuts yeah we're gonna focus in on this and i'm like good i'm glad like now something. right now like mcu is kind of like flip a coin it's either 50 50 we're either gonna go see a good movie or we're gonna see an like, awful movie ee, ee, literally ee. two three months ago i saw one of the worst mcu movies and now i'm seeing one of the best, best ones, ones. Exactly. so that's how oh uh, yeah <laughs> yeah bro i literally after walking i i did say it, i was like dude i don't know if i ever want to see one of these movies again dude, you was pissed after I was, yeah because anytime i sucked. So bad. See, so in hindsight, you would argue now you're glad you got to see this movie early and everything now, right? At least early as you could. Yeah, I mean, he gave it a 9.5. Out of right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's very, because they but did a good I, job, yeah. Right. Compared to, like, our reception before, like you said, like, we... Yeah, I, I very understandably. Because they were like, spit in the face. They, right. they made, like, Thor one... They were supposed to be one of the coolest characters, and they just made him... A joke. Thor needed to be the feel of this movie. A very yeah, like somber. I, I Ooh, need... That's too much, man. You're asking too much. But think Disney. about it, bro. You <laughs> had to, no, think about it. You could have the God Butcher kill some of Thor's best friends and allies. They couldn't fucking allies. do that. They could have killed Korg when they should have done it. They didn't. They, they made, made him into like a stupid joke. They that's what I'm saying. And then he got with the uh, the Rock. <laughs> 
Do you know what would be cool Johnson if, if, Gore, if Gore like killed Natalie Portman, Tr- Trista Thompson, they core all the characters for Thor to be like, oh my god, it's time. I'm going to fucking, oh, I got to get the hammer we, we, again. We should, I got to get the we, axe we should, and I got to fucking get them. We, don't want to get into, we can get into a big discussion about what they should, different plot like. This is a thing. podcast. No, right? yeah, that's the thing because we <laughs> always get into it and it's like. Well, okay, but in comparison to the choices they made in this movie, right, where it's like, let me have reverence for these characters. Let me elevate these characters. Maybe versus, because Ryan Coogler can actually make a movie. That's probably Yeah, this true. Fruit Will Station and Creed were both, mm, mm, versus, Ty, I mean, but Ty can, can make movies too. Jojo Rabbit's a fantastic project. Well, it's because he like, he just. Okay, maybe it's because he said himself he didn't really care about it. Yeah, I mean, really again, it he felt, fumbled the bag so it much. It felt like it was like, hey, 30 million, when 30, 30 million dollars. that Vogue or whatever yeah. with the... With oh, with just a Thompson? Yeah, yeah. It was, they were really just shitting. Like, Look at the CGI. It looks fucking garbage. I'm like, this is your own movie. Yeah, and about. like, dude, you, I'm pretty sure any good director would be in the editing room to like make sure the CGI is good. If Dwayne Johnson can make time to go check on the movies he's working on with the studios for a movie that's not even that good, like, why isn't Taika... <laughs> In there, in that, you should suit. be like, but that's what I'm saying. Should be like I, Tom Cruise. I, here's the thing: I appreciate Rock, Dwayne the Rock was, Johnson, oh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Even though, even though, like the Rock, even though Black Adam was very mid, you can tell that, like, okay, Dwayne Johnson was at least in the room when that happened. Versus, like, Taika was just trying to have like. Groupie, groupie. 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 He was trying to mack yeah, on different girls instead of making him All his like, co-stars, he just wants to bang Right, and them. you could tell Tessa Thompson was like, oh, I was asleep during, the, you know, I woke it's up like, during that's embarrassing. Like, it's like, this, bro. This like, is your art. You should have some, like, respect and, towards And it. as a business, like, Disney, right? Like, why would you let these kind of people into your business for them to ruin your projects like that? I don't understand. Like, if you have a director that has, their vision is not even, there was no vision in Love and Thunder versus <laughs> in Black Panther. The vision was, we're going to grieve this character but we're going to elevate everyone while we're doing it and bring a great story versus love and blunder is just like let me just fuck up everything you like about this character and just shat on it and shit on it constantly after and then for it's just like bro like i don't know man but the the thing is like now we have a good sense of the mcu be like okay use black panther 2 as a reference to how to make a good sequel for these upcoming movies i think i think the next few movies project's gonna be really good i think ant-man 3 is gonna be really good I think Guardians, 50, 50. Guardians Three will be really good. I, I saw the I saw the leaked one. It's really sad. Okay. Because this is they're done with Guardians. Right. So they have to like. So then that like, so you could then at that point they have no reason to like they have they have a, an incentive to really send out these characters yeah, in a good way. That, I feel like it could be good. And kill them off. Yeah, that's probably what's gonna either happen. that like, even if and you kill Secret them off. Invasion the Whoa. show oh, yeah. that's gonna be good. That trailer was actually really good. Yeah. So, so I yeah. don't know what else is next. Or maybe the Marvels, but uh, I mean, hey, I mean if. Yeah. Again, that's one of those projects where I feel like it could be 50 50. But again, like. So, here's the thing, though. Like, you. Another thing we talked about earlier is, like, some of the fem- like the female led projects. Now, like, bro, like, any other female based movie, like, lead, lead, lead character movies, like, you can't be lacking no more. Because yeah. if Black Panther on the backdrop of Chadwick Boseman's death was able to have Shuri carry that shit, there's no way, this, you know, the right. You can't, bl- you know, blame the, you know, men hating females for the reason why this movie failed. Like, no, because Shuri made me forget, like, that was a, oh my god, she doesn't have the strength because she's a girl. Like, no, bro. The whole time I was like, yo, Shuri kicking ass. I never thought she's about like, it, honestly. No, but you the know, martial so, arts no. training montage, it was like, I didn't care. No, 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 no. no, 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 no I'm not talking about that, but you know how the MCU, like, there's some people that don't like the MCU women? just because the, exactly. <laughs> they, don't, they don't want that focus being on, like, yeah. women. But, like, for this movie, like, they did a great job of, it wasn't her being like, I'm a woman, I'm not as good as my brother. Like it wasn't anything like that. No, it wasn't some baby stuff. Yeah. Some some me too wannabe dialogue in that shit. It was like, but you you know some of these projects will feed yeah, the, maybe, some of this shit yeah. for no reason. That makes no sense, She-Hulk. right? Right? That's exact. Yeah, the whole the whole show is just basically them and being meta about it as an excuse for it. It's like no, like versus like this show, like the whole movie, the whole time you don't feel like hey, like oh my gosh, she doesn't belong as a black man. Like no. They sh- they girls paved get, her. Girls got it done, man. That, but the boys did a good, great job of being meta with it and doing that too. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you're aware of like, okay, you have an uphill battle for this stuff, and you know that you focus on building a character rather than building the th- building the the oppression for this character, then you yeah. have a character that's like, okay, whatever struggle they're dealing with, they'll be able to overcome it because it's a good character. And if they can't overcome it, you're willing to follow them throughout the journey. Versus like, I'm a woman, like I can't yeah. do it. You, I, pe- men are hating on me the whole time. Like, no, this movie had none of that yeah. as its way. F- Again, because remember, like, do you remember? Like, this is a side note, but do you remember when the Charlies they had a reboot of Charlie's Angels with a woman directing it, a famous actress directing it and she blamed the movie for failing because like oh men don't want to see charlie's angels i'm like yeah but the whole time you're promoting how this movie wasn't for men so like what what the fuck is it i was an art that's what i'm saying like this movie did a good job of 
folk the, focusing on like what really mattered and then elevating all these characters so it's like I love the movie throughout because it again no, there wasn't they weren't preaching to us they were just giving us a great story about like some of the real things that happened in history blending that in and then also like okay how do we advance all these characters yeah in the there was no, nothing in the movie that made me think of like cringe oh, or <laughs> that nothing was like girls versus guys it was just like man I do miss Chadwick Boseman but exactly. this is a fantastic like exactly. sequel better exactly. than the first I definitely think so right right yeah, I think Marvel needs to take a lesson of not putting into like into the stuff of what what's going on in real life. Like yeah. I feel like sometimes they do that too much, and it's then like, like when they focus on race, like don't yeah. do that. Just just make a character. Just a character. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In this Stop movie, it. like they didn't do any of that like extra like what are those? Colors. We didn't get any of those stupid lines like <laughs> yeah. oh like even with She Hulk with the Me Too lines, none of that. Like I think it was very focused Cause, on like because in the first movie it was like the colonizer line was funny, and yeah. they add even though the colonizer line it worked really well in this movie because it was funny because now it's like oh, it's a recurring joke. It yeah. wasn't like what are those carried over was the it joke. only did like two or three literally two times and it's funny because yeah. when you have ever ross and change you have a coy like oh a colonizer on change. i was like that's yeah. funny yeah, was, yeah, that's yeah. a pretty funny line but remember the movie was talking about like you know uh what was it namor's fear of like once they discover us they're just gonna try to plunder our resources he was like hey yeah. namor made a good point about like hey like you know like as soon as you guys fall you you know none of these nations will hesitate to plunder yeah. wakanda for if you have if you're vulnerable exactly exactly yeah. i mean the movie starts off with them trying to expose the vulnerabilities and like it's not there yeah. so i'm like look when you have like you know like as i'm saying like you can have bringing world issues into it but you do it in a tasteful way that actually makes sense for the movie because yeah the whole no, they actually did bring it up once in this movie what? and it was only once which again like i don't have problems with it if you do it like if that's not the center of right. the movie it's when Riri Williams is in her dorm room. They said a young, successful, smart black girl or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. mission yeah. at once. Young, and I was like, but... hey, it's true. I mean, she's like smarter than most of her peers and professors. Yeah, right. And she's also black. But it's funny, female. but she was like, oh, you guys only said I'm and a then, con to do. And I'm like, that's funny. Yeah, because so it's they, like, like, yeah. Cause like for them, like, well, we don't relate because like our whole country is completely different than right, your right. society. She said yeah. that. Yeah, she was like to be yeah. young, black, and gifted. But she, oh, well, you yeah, only yeah, say yeah. that. She you know, like, some par- some parts really I can't hear. To, but to be fair, I don't know if I'm losing my hearing. But I also, no, but no, no, but I also know to be fair, had no. some difficult lines. I, I yeah, there's a lot of this. I understood him better. Is it because of the theater we're going to? No, it's really because the motherfuckers in the back there were just talking. No, we saw an IMAX at AMC. George saw it last night. No, because Namor was the one person in the movie I had a little. I'm not saying because it was dialogue. It was that small. It was the line where he's playing his origins. Yeah, there's parts like I couldn't. It was like I I almost. Because he said conquistadors that were coming to the you know to you know, to colonize or whatever. He was like they brought the smallpox. Yeah, yeah. Something no, he's, the volume is loud. It's just like when we saw, I think he's mumbling a little bit. Biggest standouts were all the side characters. Even the new Dora Milaje was really cool. Okoye, great as hell. Atuma, great as hell. Queen, oh my God, Angela Bassett as the queen. Peak, peak. Ooh, Mbaku, very you know when he's there. Peak. Namor. Epic peak Very and good. Sh- oh, I, oh, dude, he can climb. George he, Epping's peak. <laughs> it's peak, bro. This movie definitely was like, bro, with the expectations we had going into it being super mid to being where it was, it definitely was peak for sure. Shuri peak, <laughs> Killmonger being in there, fucking oh, you, you literally see okay, Shuri reaching the peak and then yeah. oh, getting there too, <laughs> right? Uh, about uh, it. What's uh, your I was gonna say something Who? online, but I, I don't want to start the end. Uh, Nakia. Nakia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. George yeah, Peepy yeah. got a peak too. Yeah, I just, <laughs> hey, dude, I'm pitching ten for Alex Saturday night for this movie, bro. <laughs> you said ten nine. What, what's the what are you docking the score? He, he gave huh? it. You gave I didn't it say ten. I gave it a nine. Yeah, I know. I'm saying, you, you, why is it not a ten? Yeah, why is why is so much? There's so much peak. Everything's peaking. So, the characters are peak. I just wanted more of them or to be a perfect. Do you have 10. any MCU tens? Infinity War is probably a ten. Ooh. Infinity War is definitely a ten. The highest rated movie for me is probably Infinity War and Winter Soldier. Are, are both no, probably Winter Soldier or something. Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier and Infinity probably War. Probably a nine point eight for me. I couldn't find anything wrong Winter Soldier or Infinity War because the pacing and like, the War, stick, uh, the same reason. We're about like, to open other can of worms here. No, 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 okay. So the reason why I liked so, uh, Winter Soldier is because they dealt with like the real issues that the issues of privacy and government intervention. I like the same thing for, like, you know, Black Panther Wakanda Forever because the idea of, like, oh, like, society, you know, outsiders coming to plunder resources and everything, right? That was great. And I like it when they add some real-world context into these things, which is why I'm like, this is great. And then, honestly, I might bump it up to a 9.5 considering the stakes they have. So same as me. Yeah, because considering, like, bro, like, you know how hard it is to 
you know, not again. Like we talked about, I preferred they recasted T'Challa, but honestly, I'm like glad they, did not I, do they that. didn't. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to say I've changed my opinion on that because of how good this movie was. Character arc, <laughs> guys. George is developing too, dude. <laughs> dude, dude, I'm dude wait till my, dude, wait till my anime time skip happens, guys. Okay, it's gonna be great. <laughs> training montage, training my training montage might happen. We'll see. But like, well, like I, I'll bump it up to nine point five, considering the, the. All the tragedy that came into making this movie, and then for them, what that came out of the other side of it, so good. But yeah, if anything, I wanted more Namor, and that's pretty much it. More Namor, and then maybe, maybe polish up the CGI some part. That's maybe, maybe the and then maybe give. I, I would say make the movie longer to give Shuri more time to maybe give an explanation for her developing some of her skills. But again, if they were just dropped the line saying, "Hey, yeah, like MIT's a village school. By the time they're this age, they already know uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and some other African martial arts or whatever." I'll be like, okay. I do remember sense. now why. Like, I there's also another another issue I had at the movie mm-hmm. is that the lack of blood is very alarming because like everyone's getting stabbed left and right and there's yeah, not even no. blue blood anywhere no red blood not even like gashing sounds like uh sherry gets stabbed and there's no like you don't see any blood anywhere she yeah. literally she she kind of she, nose, it's kind of crazy yeah. clearly other mc there's another mc pod that did a very good job of that yeah, you know what i'm talking about which one? Oh no no okay oh uh, yeah it's it, you guys haven't seen it but uh, yeah. uh werewolf by midnight it's werewolf it by checks night. it out the werewolf by night by night no yeah. like like she's she's like grabbed namor's back with her just claw scratch. And it's yeah. just like you blood, can see the yeah. mark with like she literally got stabbed nothing? and like she has like a bloody nose that's yeah, like, and namor why? actually actually namor has like scratch marks on his face and it's a little bit blood but it's like not like i mean that's just because you are a little bit pg13 though right no but dude we saw uh what's its face and game they chopped off thanos's head not that but it was like uh, not that much blood either. M- Multiverse of Madness had more. Oh my god! Oh yeah, actually, had, you're like, right. Yeah, more more but to be fair, I, could you argue that considering? I don't need to see okay, that, was more. Director, oh, no, no, that was a director. Yeah, thing, I know, I but like, like they could have just well, considered. Okay, okay well, a little well, bit considering blood, like considering how like oh like the death that happens before the movie. Do you think maybe it'd have been like oh too gory? for No, people are dying. People yeah, honestly, yeah, suicide in this movie. The science point. They could have added a little bit more blood. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's just some minor things that bring it down, and then honestly, like. I would like to give it higher, but the thing... But that's the MCU it, thing with yeah. blood. It's just inconsistent. Like, remember it's the same complaint I had to Miss Marvel, where, like, the uncle of the guy with the red bands or whatever, he literally gets stabbed in, like, the traps or something. Miss Marvel, the show. The uncle? Not her uncle. Like, um, you know the guy she meets... You know the red... They have, like, the red... Oh, the, oh whatever, yeah, yeah, the, the red daggers. The red daggers, I can't even yeah. remember that. One of the guys, like, the dude... Like, there's, like, a boy around Miss Marvel's age. Oh. Her dad... His dad or uncle gets stabbed in the traps and falls off a building, and there's not a single drop of blood anywhere. And they take the knife out, there's no blood. I mean, that's true. Think of their, their target audience. Yeah, but, like, you know don't free... show knives if you're not going to put blood anywhere. Like, this doesn't make any sense. I would, like, terrify they would be. They're not going to show that. I know, but it's, like... It's the same audience It's not realistic, though. But they also... Well, here's the thing. I don't really call it realistic. Thing, stuff, but it's like yeah. something here's the thing yeah. i didn't think about it too much because the, how they were like pitching okay how they made like namor had like that this movie definitely had horror vibes to it in some ways like the way they introduced namor from the dark how like they kept it like the lighting or like him decking on the sign on the first scene with him like being in the dark floating in the sky but being this shadow silhouette that destroys the helicopter him slowly rising out of the water also some of the jumps. Ca- i want to say it was scared yeah was, like, no but suspenseful like, oh, it's very suspenseful i'm saying suspenseful. Yeah, well excited, they created yeah. that tension like oh this this is Tension, a real yes. threat. And like him, like literally, like the shark in the water thing, right? Which I'm saying, like, if they had the idea of creating suspense, I kind of forgave it in the sense, like, oh, it doesn't, it isn't like a horror, like J- Friday, Friday the Thirteenth kind of movie. Where like I think Doctor Strange butcher. scared me more. Like Doctor Strange definitely did. Well, that's because yes. it's definitely a horror movie. That was yeah. definitely a very horror based well, yeah, movie. It, yeah, same range. But this, but this movie, I felt like it was, had the suspense on its side, where it's like. Again, I didn't. I didn't. The first thing I think of was like, "Oh, where's the bloody stuff?" But I can it's see just where hard, it's, like, it's just hard to like. To, I guess feel the picture. Yeah, 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 it's like that makes sense. You know, unrealistic. And like, I guess the final thing I would say, like, I think is missing is that, um, I know like Shuri did a great job, but like one like that in final scene where she's fighting Namor. Yeah. Right. A little bit more like mask off. Like it makes you like like you're like you're the really that uh brute force like that primal scream like. That rage, I want to kill revenge. Yeah. Yeah. Kill, yeah. So it's kind of basically like, like a No Way Home situation. Oh, yeah. But to be fair, yeah. Man, yeah. You know when, like, Peter's, like, you can see it on his face, right? Like, he's, like, 
she's like absolutely but losing re- it. But remember, a little he, bit more. But, but she was like, okay, he's a, a little bit yeah. longer. And the fact that she's trying to like forgive him or like trying not, and what she spares him that flashback is like this is like the final conclusion almost. Like, why is that like that could have been a little bit longer? Well, to be fair, and I think, I think really to, to argue about for, for Spider Man, it's like he fights Green Goblin like the next day or not even versus. She kind of is like settling down, like she mourns and everything, and I think that's why she is like okay. Let she me didn't just... mourn. She didn't. They mourn had a week. She has. Vi- she like. She reflects. She has. Yeah. She has. But she like... reflects right when she's about to kill him. Okay, but right, Peter, remember, Peter like didn't that. even do that. It was only because uh, he's like, uh, like, Toby. Me... Yeah, he's, like, he's no. He hands. was stopped. Toby right. stopped. No, that's... like I feel like. I wouldn't know, you argue, I wouldn't you argue that shows more of how developed her as a character where she can remember she isn't this isn't like I'm you know friendly neighborhood Spider-Man fighting off the Green Goblin this is like I'm the potentially heir to the throne of Wakanda about fighting to fighting the person who killed my mom no fighting the ruler of an underground civilization and remember uh, what was it M'Baku said like if we kill this guy we're gonna be at war with him forever so it makes sense where I think it's smart for her to have because she's like, what I'm about to do is no, gonna no, be irreversible. I get, I get the decision. Like, that's not the problem I have. Like I get it, not killing him, right? But a little bit more reflection of like her like screaming and like ah, and just throwing it next to him. Like you know, we've seen we've seen that before. Yeah, in the movies, right? I'm, but, but, but remember, it's, but it's that's, that's too much of the trope. Then I'm glad because remember because like remember T'Challa. Remember when he stops uh, uh what was it Zemo in Civil War? He could have had a same justifiable reaction, yeah, it's, it's, but it's he apparent. doesn't. No. I think it shows that she's a she's more regal with it now. She's a better understanding of what her role is. And remember, up until that point, she was all about revenge, and then she's deciding like. No, like oh, I do, I man. do like that scene. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I just think like they could have extended it, like even a little bit, some dialogue versus them just staring. But she kind of has that moment with Mbaku when she's trying to force him to help him, where she's like, "I everything I've taken away from me." You already have her moment where she's feeling the weight of. No, she all was that she stuff. was totally ju- like, if she killed him, it would have been like, did it would have made sense of the movie, but it wouldn't justify it. I do get it, like that yeah. range. Of, it's hard to like deal with. That. But remember, you're thinking about as again, this is all fiction world. You're thinking as all in her shoes as the as Shuri, the daughter of my mom, versus she's the black. Yeah, Panther. she did. She did address it earlier in the movie, right. like, hey, if we don't give this uh, fish person, I forgot the name, uh, uh, one of the beads, like they're gonna die. Right, right. Person dies, say, war starts. Right, right, right. No, I understand the decision she made. I just, I would have liked that the final like. The, you know, if it's, this is the conclusion of this whole battle, like make that a little bit longer because this movie's already long. Like, what's an extra one minute? Yeah, that's just true. Minutes? I can see that. I think okay, so more things to kind of just add like more. if you're, she's she's been like bitter and enraged this like for a lot of the movie, yeah. right? And trying to come to cope with this, right? That final like conclusion should have just been just a little bit. But longer. the thing is, you have the move that that's moment. At, you have the moment at the very end when she burns the clothes, though. Her because brother's she, clothes. No, that the, was the war, no, no, sorry. The, the morning. She wore. Yeah, the, for her for the funeral, yeah, the morning yeah, clothes, yeah. where she because that's where she has that moment, like okay, like I can let go and everything. So I think I could. You could make an argument where she has all that at the end for her to to be the true ending of the movie, where she can finally move on. I think again, like you, you could argue. Okay, let me put that moment towards the end of that final fight, but then you won't have that beautiful send off and then the mid credits. Yeah, scene at the I end. mean, it's just, it's just again. I'm just. I guess this is just, so. I guess, preference at yeah. that point. But guys, I think we have again. Once again, we had a good stopping point. I think so. Third I, time. I, it's hey, fun. Actually, it's fun. I don't want. No, no. <laughs> if you do, nah, that's what the, I just cut. I cut it if that ever happens. So, so. what are you eating for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> you want some aloe? Are you vibranium aloe or some shit? I, I actually made there. a mistake. Uh, this is the last thing. Uh, Go for it. The last. This is not the last phase four project. Actually, it's yeah. actually the Guardian special. Guys, overall thoughts. Black Panther is a dub. Yeah, Black a Panther dub. two is a dub. It's Wakanda a dub. is is a dub. Wakanda forever is great. It's peaking. Peak. It peaked. <laughs> I'm yeah. still peeking. Good, way to, end, good way to end. Good way to end this. Honestly, honestly, like next week's like my birthday, so I'm probably just gonna find some time to go see it again and see it in IMAX. I feel like it was so good. The visuals too, great. So. Guys, wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Culture Coonies Podcast. Guys, give us a some <laughs> hey, you want to Connor forever or you want to do this? Nah, let's go do this. All right, bro. I don't know, man. Ammo is really cool. fucking cool. Yeah, so. but like you know, he's trying you... to kill. Sir. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll do fine, this. Fine, fine. It's a Black <laughs> Panther movie. It's not Maynor. Namor. 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 We'll wait for the name. Come on. Yeah, boys. when that comes out, we can do the. We can do this. Hey, bro. I still throw respect for our boys. Boys, it's just like this. It's just like a Connor. Why are we doing this? This is weird. Cross-cultural. But guys, let us know, for let us know in the not. comments. Let us know in the comments below what your thoughts on this movie are. Who are your guys' favorite standouts in this movie? Did you guys love Namor as much as we did? Did you guys think that Shuri definitely rose up to the mantle to become Black Panther? Let us know in the thoughts below. 
Guys, once again, this is the Culture Queenies Podcast. I'm my, I'm your host here, George. I'm my co-host here. Alan. Jason. And our special guest for today. Jimmy. Y'all have a good one. Peace. Mass off. <laughs>